How's it, everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode of Extra Turns. You know, this is a unique one. I'm pretty sure it's the first gameplay video we've ever done where Jimmy or I are not part of the game. That's right. This is going to be the Command Zone team battling it out. And let me just say, they brought some of their spiciest decks. It is an epic and explosive one. But before we get into it, we got to talk about our sponsor, cardkingdom.com slash command zone. That's where you want to go if you're going to buy your magic product, singles, Anything at all, you know, Kaldheim, the Viking theme set is right around the corner and you can pre-order it right now. This set, it looks super sweet. It has a ton of awesome stuff for Commander. You're going to buy Magic cards anyway. So you may as well use our affiliate link, cardkingdom.com slash command zone, when you do, because then you're just simultaneously supporting the content you enjoy. And another way to support all of our content is directly if you go to patreon.com slash command zone. Patrons get all kinds of cool perks. They get to talk with Jimmy and I on our Discord each and every day. They also get early access to things like game nights and extra turns earlier than the general public, so they're not even watching me right now. They uh, they already watched this episode because they got to see an exclusive early preview. So if you want to support our content and get those perks, patreon.com slash command zone. All right, without further ado, let's see what the command zone team has up their sleeves in this truly epic game. Let's get on to it. <laughs> Welcome to a brand new episode of Extra Turns. I'm Lady Danger, and today I'm gonna to be playing Mayel the Anima. This deck is all about high-powered creatures. So I'm gonna ramp as fast as possible and cheat them into play using Mayel's ability. So I'm looking forward to getting some huge monsters and bashing my opponents with them. Hey everyone, it's Manson, and today I'm gonna to be playing Zada, Hedron Grinder. So this deck has a two-step plan. Step one, get a bunch of creatures onto the battlefield. Step two is to cast a spell that targets one of them, but with Zada's ability, it will target all of them. And then my goblin army will be so huge, my opponents won't know what hit them. Hey everyone, it's Murph, I'm back, and today I'm gonna be playing Okagachi, Vengeful Kami. This is a spirit tribal deck, but it also has a bunch of arcane spells, because spirit and arcane spells, well, they tend to get along together pretty well. So the plan is to outvalue my opponents and run them over with a bunch of spirits. Hey everyone, it's Jake, and today I'm going to be playing Tongarth, First Mate. So this deck is about controlling everyone's attack step. I have a bunch of ways to force other players into combat, which allows me to take full advantage of Tongarth's ability. And once he's attacking on everybody's turn, I pump him up so he's knocking people out left and right. All right, I'm ready to rock and roll. Let's do this. Let's get into the red zone. It's time to fight. All right, let's smash. Everyone ready? Let's yep. do it. Yeah. All right. Draw for turn, play a mountain, pass. All right, I will draw for turn, play a mountain, and pass to you, Jake. All right, I'll draw, play a mountain as well, and pass. All right, I will draw my card for turn. I will play a flooded strand, and I will pass to you, Manson. All right, untap, keep draw. I will play a foundry of consoles, and then I will play a iron mirror. Ooh, and then pass the turn to you, lady. All right, I will draw for turn. Then I will play Sun Petal Grove Tapped, and then I will pass the turn. All right, on your end step, I'm gonna pay one and cycle Ash Barons. All right. And I will go get a Forest. Sounds good. And put it into my hand. Okay. And then I will untap and draw for turn, and then I will play the Forest, and then I'll tap two and cast three visits. Ooh, hmm. the new three visits. I'm gonna search my library, and I'm gonna find a Stomping Ground, but I will not pay the two life, so it's gonna enter tapped. And that's all I can do, so I'm gonna pass the turn. And Jake, during your end, step, I'm going to activate the Flooded Strands, sacrifice it, and I will go find a Ketria Triome and put it onto the battlefield tapped, and I will lose a life. And then I'll go to my turn, I will untap, I will draw my card, I am going to shock in a Godless Shrine, I'll take two, and go to 37, and then I will tap two mana, and I will play Lightning Greaves. Uh -oh. oh, got your red and choose. I'm gonna go real fast, and I will pass the turn. For a magic around the table, nice. I'll untap, I will draw, all right, I will tap two, and I will play a Ruby Medallion. Nice. All right, and then, because of the Ruby Medallion, I will tap my Armier and play a Runaway Steam Can for one. Ooh. Ooh. And I'll pass my turn to you, lady. I can't help but notice you uh, missed your lander up there. Uh, yeah, you didn't even notice that. <laughs> <laughs> I see everything. The rest in peace, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll untap, draw for turn. I will play Plains and play Rhythm of the Wild. Oh, oh here we go. Oh. That's a dangerous card. It's starting to look like classic standard over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pass the turn to you, Jake. All right, I will untap and draw for turn. Oh man, everyone has haste around here. That's what happens when you play red correctly. Oh, <laughs> see how it is. 
I wish I had haste because I'm going to play a forest, tap four, and cast my commandar, Tongarth. Did you just hit puberty? The commandar. Well, I was like ramping up because I was really excited to say Tongarth, burst mate. <laughs> I'm glad you got it's like there. Dead on arrival. <laughs> anyway, this is my command, Darth Tongard. <laughs> All right, party on, Murph. It's your turn. All right, I will untap. I will draw my card for the turn. I am going to play another Shockland, a Hallowed Fountain, and I will take two. Brave man. Going to 35. Uh oh. And then I will play a Drog Skull Captain. Nice. Ooh, he's got spirit. Oh, you yes, spirit. Yes, you do. And then I will move to equip the Drog Skull Captain with the Lightning Greaves. No bother. So now he has haste. So I can attack anybody I want, right? You can. I can. You can make whatever enemies you want to right now. Huh. You know what, lady? That yes. haste is kind of scary. So I am going to move to combat. I'm going to attack you with my 2-2 flying drug skull captain. With haste. With haste. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I will take two and go to 38. Sad Tongress not tapped, so it can't go long. But two damage we'll have to do. I'm not sad. <laughs> <laughs> I will pass the turn to you, Manson. All right, sweet. I will untap. I will drop. You better have a land in that hand. Uh, sadly, I do not. Oh, Woo. no, Manson. <laughs> Manson, Let's what have you done? Uh, it's called being greedy. <laughs> <laughs> I know all about that. All right, I will tap one. I will play a Granko's Command. Nice. Getting two Gabambos. You got a couple of Jimmys over there. Oh, yeah, Jimmy Wong's in the house. Nice. That only cost me one because of Ruby Medallion. Cool. And then because it was a red spell, my runaway steam can gets a plus one, plus one counter. And then I will tap my Iron Mirror for red, and I will play a Mogwar Marshal, getting another Gabambo. And then Runaway Steam Pink gets another plus one plus one counter. And again, that only costs one mana because of my medallion. I don't feel so bad for him missing land drops, I'll be honest. Yeah, yeah I don't feel bad at all. <laughs> I will move to combat. Murph, take three. Ugh, I can't do anything about that. I will take three damage and go to 32. Ugh. All right, with that, I end my turn. All right, I will untap. Draw for turn. I will play a mountain for turn. And then I will tap three and play Cultivate. Ooh, pretty Cultivate. Yeah. I like that art. I'll search my library and I'll find a forest and put it into play tapped. And I will also find a mountain and I'll put that into my hand. Sweet. And this will go into the graveyard and I will pass my turn. All right, I will untap and then I'll draw for turn. I think I have to start building up my defenses. So I'm gonna play a mountain, and then I'm gonna tap five, and I'm gonna cast Kazool, Tyrant of the Cliffs. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, so whenever you attack me, unless you pay three for each creature, I get a three three red <laughs> ogre. It's all ogre now. Uh. Oh. <laughs> well, I got people that are wide open right now, and a commander without summoning sickness, so I gotta do something about that, right? No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that lady is probably about to have a bunch of creatures on the board. No. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go to combat, and I'm gonna to swing at Lady with Tongarth for five. I'll take five and go to 33. Ouch. Oof. And I have five commander damage from Tongarth. All right, and that's all I'm gonna do this turn, so I will pass. All right, I will untap. I will draw my card for turn. Oh, Manson, your board's pretty scary. Uh, I'm missing land draws, so don't worry about me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just point it right at me. Yeah, Lady, you've been picked on a decent amount, so I don't think I'll be attacking you. Thanks, Murph. So I'll move to combat, and I'm going to attack Manson with the Drug Skull Captain. Oof. When you attack, that is going to trigger Tongarth. Uh-oh. So, Murph, I'm going to give you control of him until end of combat. Oh, I like that. So he is also attacking Manson. Ooh, some big damage. I'm going to block Tongarth with my Mogwar Marshal. So your Mogwar Marshal dies? Yep. And I don't have any flyers, so I'll take two. Going to 38. All right, so combat is over. Jake, you can have your Tongarth back. Welcome home, buddy. And when Mogwar Marshall dies, it triggers, and I get another goblin. More Jimmy Wongs. All right, so now it's my second main phase, and I'm still pretty scared of all the stuff that's going on out there. So I will play a Temple Garden. I will shock it in, take two. <laughs> and go to 30. Cool. And then I will play a Windborn Muse. Wow. So you have to pay two to attack me. So Manson can basically never attack you now. Hopefully. Yeah, not until I draw some lands here. I believe in you, Manson. Uh, I don't. And because Windborn Muse is a spirit, it's gonna get plus one, plus one, and hexproof because of the Drug Skull Captain. So it is a three, four. Oh, very nice. And then that is all I got. I will pass the turn. All right, I will untap my stuff, and I'll draw for turn. All right, Melton. Woo! He got there. All right. All right. Now we can attack Murph. No! That's great. <laughs> Soon, Murph. All right. I will tap three, and then I will play my commander, Zada, Hedron Grinder. Woo! And then that will trigger Runaway Sinkin, and I'll get another counter. 
So you can remove counters to get mana now? Yes, sir. Yes. Speaking of which, that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'll remove the three counters from Runway Sinkan and get three red mana. Very nice. Woo. With one of the mana, I will play a Renegade Tactics targeting Zada. And then that will trigger Zada, so I'll copy the Renegade Tactics for each of my creatures. Oh, I don't like that. And I have six other creatures on board. So you have seven copies of Renegade Tactics? Oh yeah, baby. Oh my Whoa. god. So that's I, a lot of cards. So I get to draw seven cards here. Oh my god. Nice. Goodness. Hopefully you got another mountain in that deck. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. I bet you won't miss any more land drops. Oh yeah, drew plenty of lands now. <laughs> So glad I played that Windborn Muse now. <laughs> uh, so Runaway Steam can triggers again, and it'll get another counter. And remember, I still have two Flowing Red Mana, so I will use that to cast a Smuggler's Copter. Oh, that's fun. Beep beep. Classic. <laughs> beep beep. <laughs> What, helicopters don't have horns? No, they don't. <laughs> I thought they'd go, caca. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll go to combat. Oh no. Lady, I'm attacking you with four goblins and a runaway steam gun. Okay, that's not bad. On that attack, that's gonna trigger Tongarth. Okay, that's bad. And I'm gonna send him along with, for the ride. So he is now also attacking Lady. Well, well. Alrighty then. I will take 11. Out! Ooh. And I have 10 commander damage from Tongarth. Woo! <laughs> it's working! <laughs> in a combat, Jake, you can take Tongarth back. Thank you, sir. And I'll go to my end step, and I have nine cards in hand, so I will have to discard two. Nice. So I will get rid of a mountain and a Magus of the Wheel. Just a Magus of the Wheel. Yeah. It's not a big deal. Sure you don't want to wheel your big old hand away? Yeah, no. No I big wheel. Here. <laughs> <laughs> I am Jared Castalian. And I will be king, for I am the true heir. So it's important when I do take the throne that I have my true heir. My regal locks just shall put this man in charge. So when I started noticing the first signs of hair loss, I panicked. My reputation was on the line. Luckily, I found keeps. The simple and easy way to keep your hair. With Keeps, I was able to visit the doctor online and get my medication delivered straight to my door, which lets me avoid awkward pharmacy trips where I might be expected to button up my shirt. They even offer generic versions of FDA-approved hair loss treatments so I can afford it without breaking the treasury. Keeps helps you keep the hair you still have, so prevention is key. The sooner you start, the more hair you'll save. So act now before you lose it all like poor King Kenrith. Most people don't know this, but he totally wears a wig! His crown is pinned right to it! I saw it on an episode of the Monarch on Netflix, which should be about me, by the way. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash extra to receive your first month of treatment for free. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash extra. So take back your hair, and then take back your kingdom! <laughs> hey man, you got that? Hold on a second. Yo, what's up? How are you watching that right now? Oh, this, this is just Netflix. No, no way, because I was looking for that all night last night, and then it was told it's not available in your region. Oh, well, regions don't matter when you're using ExpressVPN to browse the internet. With ExpressVPN, you are hiding your IP address and instead choosing where you want websites to think you're located. So as a result, you can access Netflix libraries all across the world in 100 different countries. What you're saying is that it's more than Netflix. ExpressVPN works with any streaming service, Hulu, the BBC, YouTube, you name it. And the speed is super fast. There's no buffering or lag, and you can stream all of the content in HD with no problems. So what do you think? Seems pretty sweet. It is pretty sweet. Find out how you can get three months of ExpressVPN for free by visiting expressvpn.com slash extra turns or by clicking the link in the description box below. Support the show, watch what you want, and protect yourself at expressvpn.com slash extra turns. Okay, I'm gonna make sure to check it out. All right, back to watching. Oh, hi there. Sorry, I'm slightly out of breath. I won't lie, line slinging here among the cliffs and hedrons of Zendikar is pretty dangerous work, but they don't call me a Kiri fearless voyager for nothing. One of the ways that I stay focused is by listening to some really great music. But the thing is, I've already got all these ropes and pickaxes and other metal thingies, so I really can't afford to get any more tangled up than I already am. That's why I use the wireless earbuds from Raycon. That wireless part is really important to me because, you know, I don't want to tumble to my death, but they're also comfortable, discreet, and stylish. Plus, they're only about half the price of other premium brands on the market, 
but they sound just as amazing. And with six hours of playtime, water and sweat resistant construction, and seamless Bluetooth pairing, I always know I can rely on my Raycons anywhere. And right now, Raycons offering 15% off all their products for fans of extra turns. And here's what you've got to do to get it. Go to buyraycon.com slash extra. That's it. You'll get 15% off your entire Raycon order. So feel free to grab a pair and a spare. That's 15% off at buyraycon.com slash extra. Again, buyraycon.com slash extra. All right, with that, I end my turn. All right, I will untap, drop for turn. Well, you are really putting me in a compromising situation. I would like to, you to know that. I'm gonna play my land for turn. I'm sorry. <laughs> are, are you? No. Are you? <laughs> All right, I will tap three and play my commander, Mael. Nice. And that will trigger Rhythm of the Wild. I'm gonna choose to give her a plus one, plus one counter because I don't need haste right now. So how big is Mael? She is a 3-4. Cool. All right, and I will tap two, and I will play Farseek. Oh, nice. And I will search my library and find a Stomping Grounds, and I'll put that into play tapped. And I will pass the turn. Please, no one kill me. No guarantees. All right, I will untap and draw for turn. Okay, I'm gonna play a Kessig Wolf Run. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, trample. <laughs> then I'm gonna tap two, and I'll play an Arcane Signet. Oh, nice. Then I'm gonna cast Grenzo, Havoc Razor. Ooh. Is that the goaty one? That's the goaty one. Mm. Hey, a fellow goblin. And then I'm gonna tap two, and cast Mask of Memory. Oh, that's gonna nice. be good on Tom, guys. That's right, and so now I'm gonna go to equip it. Okay. Then I'm gonna pay the one and equip it to Tongarth. Oh no. Mm. Do you get to draw cards even when Tongarth deals damage not on your turn? Yeah, I mean, I control the artifact, so. That seems busted. Feels bad, yeah. man. That's a little crazy. Anyway, speaking of which. Uh -oh. Uh oh, here it comes. I mean, Manson's the one with the full grip of cards. I have a feeling I know where Tongar's going. So, lady, if I let up and don't attack you this turn and start swinging at Manson to weaken his board, mm -hmm. do you agree to find someone to send Tongar that on your next turn? I think I have to make this deal because I need you to not hit me. See, that's how deals are made. That's messed up, Jake. I will go to combat. Manson, I'm going to attack you for five with Tongarth. You can only block with one creature. All right, before blocks, I will tap Zada to crew my smuggler's copter. Beep, beep. <laughs> So it's now a creature. All right. And then I will block with my Smuggler's Copter. Okay. And then on that block, Smuggler's Copter triggers. So I'll draw a card and I'll discard a mountain. Uh, yeah, I have nothing. Pass priority. All right, so damage resolves. Yep. Bye, Smuggler's Copter. Beep, beep. Burr. All right, and that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pass the turn. All righty, I will untap and then I will draw my card for turn. Um, I'm going to move to combat. Then Manson, I will attack you with my Drug Skull Captain in the air. On that attack, Tongarth is gonna trigger. Uh oh. Here he comes. And I will give you control of him. He is now attacking Manson. Come along for the ride, Tongarth. Uh, all right, no blocks. Okay, so you're going to take seven? Yep, I'll take seven. And that is five commander damage from Tongarth. And I'll go to 31. And when Tongarth deals damage, Mask of Memory will trigger. And that's still my artifact, so I'm gonna draw two and discard one. That's spicy. Mm. And I'm going to discard Rhythm of the Wild. I love it. <laughs> and I do have Grenzo, but he only cares about creatures I control, so he won't trigger. All right, so it's the end of combat. Tongarth, you can go back to Jake. I love it. So it is my second main phase, and then I will cast Sky Shroud Claim. Nice. So I'll search my library for two force cards, and then I will put a Stomping Ground and a Zagoth Triome into play tapped. Nice. The Stomping Ground can come into play untapped, but I'm not gonna use the mana, so I'll just have it enter tapped. Uh, then I will play a Misty Rainforest as my land for turn, and that's all I got. I will pass the turn to you, Manson. All right, I'll untap. With a lot of permanence. It's doing great. And then I'll draw. All right, start things off. Okay, mountain. And then I will play an Accelerate, targeting Zada. Sweet. Look, now you have haste. Yeah, they all have haste now. Hey. That's great. Part of the haste club. How many creatures do you have? And I have seven creatures right now. So you're gonna draw another seven cards? Oh yeah, just another seven. Oh, no big deal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then Runaway Steamkin triggers and I'll get another counter. And then let's play a Soul Ring. Nice. And then I'll play my land for turn. How many cards do you have right now? 14. Nine, 10, 11, 12. 12. Uh -oh. Close Yikes. enough. All right. Uh oh. Tap four, and I will play a Mana Geyser. Oh! <laughs> oh bye! So, how many tap land does everyone have? I have six. 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 So, I get 18 mana here. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> no. Triggering Runaway Steamkin. Get another counter. So, you can have 22 mana available to you? Yeah, I do. And all your red spells are reduced by one? Oh, yeah. Are we just all dead here? Yeah, we're about to get slapped. All right, so I will activate Runaway Steamkin. <laughs> Getting another three mana. 
So now I have 21 mana in my mana pool. Wow. Uh oh. All right, so I'll use three of that mana and I'll play a Martin Stronghold. What is that? Oh, is that the guy from Ice Age? Oh yeah, it's like a red crater hook. Well, see, we could be friends now. Just bury me now. So I have 18 mana left, and then I'll cast a Goblin Dark Dweller. So I have 14 mana left now. At least he's running low on mana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Must be nice. So when it enters, I'll look through my graveyard, and then I'm gonna cast Accelerate, targeting Zada. I feel like I've been here before. Round two. Uh, so now how many creatures do you have? So I have nine creatures. <laughs> so now you're gonna draw nine for free? Oh yeah. That's nutty. And all my creatures get haste. I do not like. So I will draw nine. Looks like we're on the mill plan now. <laughs> <laughs> nine. And that was two red spells I cast, so Runaway Steam King gets two counters. All right, well, should we just continue drawing my deck? Yep. Sure. All right. I don't think we're doing anything. I think it's all you, pal. <laughs> all right, I will cast a Boiling Blood. Targeting Zada. What does that do? So the target creature attacks this turn if able, so that means all my creatures have to attack, and I get to draw a card. Woe is you. And then I'll draw nine more. Oh my gosh. How many is enough, Manson? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Maybe he'll mill himself. It's not enough. How much mana do you have left? Uh, just 12. Can't do anything with 12 mana. Yeah. Not not these days. Runaway Stinkin' Triggers. Giving another counter. Then I'll remove the three counters from Runaway Stinkin'. Again, three more mana. And then I'm gonna cast a Valkut Awakening. Hmm. Holy crap, you got a lot of cards in hand for that. So I get to put any number of cards from my hand onto the bottom of my library and then draw that many plus one. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna put 18 cards on the bottom of my library and then draw 19. Wow. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. If he doesn't get it now, nine, he's ten, never eight, going to. 12, 13, yeah. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Wow. Oh. And then that'll put a counter on Runway Sinkin. So now I have 13 mana remaining in my mana pool. Oh, so looks like I don't have enough mana here. Oh, you don't have you enough don't mana? Have enough? Yeah, yeah. You don't say. I kind of want more, so. So greedy. I'll play a battle hymn. Jeez. So it costs me one, and it gives me nine. So I'll end up with 21 mana. You know what, Manson, if I get another turn, you're gonna get it. <laughs> uh, all right, runaway steam can triggers. I will get another counter. Ah, oh, that freaking windboard muse. Just don't attack me, problem solved. That's the problem here. Uh-oh. So now, I will cast a Chaos Warp. Targeting your Lightning Greaves, Murph. My Lightning Greaves? Yeah, that's a problem there. Oh, they're just cute little Lightning Greaves. I could get something much bigger, you know. I'll take the risk here. All right, away it goes, it'll shuffle in. I ain't scared. So now we're hoping for a big whammer, Murph. It's all up to you. Do you have any permanents that wipe the board? I don't know, let's find out. Ooh. Cut me, Jake. Make it good. Oh, geez. This one right here, that's the winner. This is the winner? The one on top? The one on top. All right, Chaos Warp, it is my Whoa! Chance Seen wins. Oh, no. Since you didn't cast it, he doesn't get a divinity counter? Nope. That sucks. It's uh -huh. pretty bad. All right, so now my Steam King gets another counter. And then I'm just going to immediately remove him. Oh, so now I have 22 mana. That Steamkin has been ridiculous. I'm never letting a Steamkin live again. Yeah. <laughs> so now I will cast a Torbrand going down to 19 mana. That's great. Okay. That does lots of damage. And then Steamkin gets a counter. And now for the fun part, I will cast a Siege Gang Commander. You are playing Red Deck Wins. And that will give me three goblins, but they're not gonna be there very long because I'm going to pay six mana, sack all three. So the first one is gonna deal four damage to the Draxcall Captain because of Torbran. All right, Draxcall Captain down. And then the next four damage is going at the Windborn Muse. Windborn Muse no longer has Hexproof, so it will die. And then the last Gabambo is thrown at Kazool. Oh man, Kazool dies. That's bad. All right, so now all shields are down. I'm gonna put Torbran down here, and I will also put the CGN Commander here too because they can't attack. But everything else has haste, but because mana is gonna empty from my mana pool when I go to my combat step, I'm just gonna cast the stuff first. So I'm gonna cast Fist of Flame, targeting Zada. Oh no! Can you even do that math? So how many cards have you drawn this turn? So I drew 19 with Valakut Awakening, and I drew 9 twice with Accelerate and Boiling Blood. So that's somewhere like plus 40, plus zero or something. To everything? Oh yeah, and Martin Stronghold triggers all my other creatures plus eight plus eight. And they get trampled? Oh yeah. Holy crap. Okay, Manson. <laughs> we need to talk. Don't forget your runaway steam can get a trigger. Oh, thanks Murph. <laughs> No problem, man. All right, let's go to combat. And I'm going to swing three creatures at each of you. So each creature is like 50 power and trample? Yeah, something like that. All right, well, I got nothing. Unless you guys have some crazy card I've never heard of, we're all dead. Yeah, I got nothing. No freak fogs or anything? No freak fogs. Nope. I think you got it, Manson. So I guess we all... <laughs> <laughs> and I win! Ah! Victory. <laughs> 
All right, wow, what an epic and explosive turn there at the end from Manson. You know, if you've ever played against a Zada deck, I'm sure you've seen that happen more than uh, once or twice. The funny thing is, I was told by the players here that they actually met up on Spell Table the night before we recorded this game, and everybody played their decks uh, three or four times just to make sure everything was on the same power level. But that's the way magic goes sometimes. Sometimes everything seems fine, but one deck just has a really good draw and gets out to that explosive finish. So congratulations, Manson, on the win. Before we go, let's plug our sponsors one more more time. Cardkingdom.com slash command zone. We mentioned it at the beginning, but Caldheim is right around the corner. You can pre-order it right now. And if you use our affiliate link and order from Card Kingdom, you're really going to get that stuff the fastest. It's going to be in the best condition. And when the new sets come out, you know you want to get those cards as soon as possible. And that's what Card Kingdom does. They ship stuff out as soon as they possibly can. And also, once you get your hands on those cards, you really want to protect them. You want them to stay in good condition. Ultra Pro products are the ones that Jimmy and I trust with our own collections to keep our game pieces safe. You don't want your awesome commander cards, your shiny foils getting dinged up or banged up. So Pro Gloss Eclipse Sleeves are really the best way to go. Ultra Pro also makes awesome play mats. It's going to keep all your uh, game pieces clean. They have sweet deck boxes so that none of your cards like fall out or, or uh, get banged up in any other way. So Ultra Pro really is the best way to protect all of your game pieces. Can't recommend them highly enough. They also support all of our content. So remember, by supporting our sponsors, you really are supporting everything that we make here at the Command Zone. All right, hope you enjoyed the game. And uh, spoiler alert, Game Nights, the Call Time episode, is uh, our next gameplay video, and it's coming out very soon, probably within the next week or week and a half when you're watching this. So uh, look forward to that, and we'll, uh, we'll see you soon.